wait a second. I mean, maybe earnings are really in trouble. Maybe NVIDIA is not going to make the quarter, which is really, what is this one about? I know. It's about but, NVIDIA not making the quarter. All right, but that we still got a few weeks to wait on that. Well, that's the problem. A couple of weeks to wait. And to your point on the AI narrative changing a bit, wouldn't it have to be that report that conceivably would do that? It has to be Jensen himself coming on and saying, look, uh, I've met with every major banker. I've met with every major industrial. I've met, and the demand is there. And the reason the demand is there is because it's you get three to four X return, which is what he says. But he's been so quiet because it's in quiet. And by the way, the, I mean, there's there's companies that in for a limited time only. The first 50 customers get a 50 percent discount off everything in our store. Don't miss out. This offer won't last long. Rush in now and save big. Hurry. Be one of the first 50. Shop now. From the link below. Quiet, kind of leak things to, to uh, analysts, even though they shouldn't. Right. And then there are companies that are just a, a steel vault. And finding out anything about NVIDIA, a lot of made up stuff about NVIDIA in the last few weeks. Just made up stuff. I mean, it starts the day at about a two and a half trillion dollar market value. Obviously, well, people hate that too. A lot less than it was well, not I read long a piece ago. Like said, now though, we know. A lot more than it yeah. was not that long. How about the piece was like, like now we know the thousand percent game was completely fraudulent. And it's like, no. Yeah. No, it did. It had a trillion dollars almost lopped off. I mean, the, the company. Jeez, the market cap took a hit. It did. The multiple, multiple got up there. Remem it, right, it? but remember, this is always a, a multiple. You have to think about this as a, as a previous multiple. Like you realize that the company was selling it 17 I, I, times earlier. And now. there's been this argument. It gets back to sort of the larger one that at some point they're going to hit a wall, or at some point the yes. spending will hit a wall. Not in 2025. Certainly not this year. What's left of it. But perhaps in 26 or 27, where the hyperscalers, they're done. Yeah, but you know, and what is that going to mean no when you do a discounted cash flow evaluation of this company? And are you willing to pay the multiple? And that that certainly seems to have circulated right. through and that really some did. of that. No, you're right. Affected the stock but price. I want to ban the term hyperscaler at this point because no one ever understood. It's like Yen yeah, Carrot. I don't know what, what the hell is that? I know. It's one of those. Scaler. You know what? You're right. It's like what is? Right? Who made that one up? The hyperscaler. Yeah, I did. You did. No. <laughs> <laughs> but here, here's what I see. What should we call them? Uh, well, I like tech titans, which is what they tech call the Risa Network. Or how about just giant planet-eating companies? I like that. It's you kind like of that? like Stephen King. -like. Planet eaters. Planet eaters. Yeah. From now on, they'll be another, okay, so okay. listen, the PEs are already taken. <laughs> yes. um, okay, let's just go over what really happened with these companies. Okay. Meta had a great quarter, and it was because okay. he figured out how to use AI. I don't know if you're using Meta AI. I've switched entirely to Meta AI. I no longer use chat, I don't use Gemini, really? I don't use Claude, whatever, now you're Monet. Using, no I use, I, oh, I love it. I love it, it's a sing, oh my God, it's so great. It's so much better than the other companies. It's coherent, it doesn't, you know, there's no dross, there's no like. Wait, what platform do you use it on? In other words, what are you going to to use it? I, I, what I do is I type in Meta AI. Okay. It's pretty interesting, it's like typing in like, you know how you like type in Google? Yeah. Just like that's that. That's it? You get it? Yeah. Mm. And it comes up. It's very simple. I have like three ads that you have to deal with, which you just look at and dismiss. Yeah. And then, like, compare, please you. tell me the Roth IRA versus a traditional IRA. Mm. I mean, it is so succinct mm -hmm. and it is so good. And I mean, I can pull a million. Please tell me about Caterpillar and its exposure to data centers. I mean, Tax free it, on the way out, by the way. Roth well, that's versus like, yeah, that's why I always just tell so people you know. go for Roth. I can be your AI if you want. No, you're, what, you're was, what was the question about Caterpillar? You're can I answer that no, I'm well? just saying you could, like, I yeah. don't know, come up, like, where's David Faber's daughter going to college? Yeah, oh, I can well, tell you that she as well. chose certain. She looked at four schools and he said this. No, I mean, it's, what am I supposed to do? How do I demonstrate prowess? I think that what I'm saying is, is that that company had a good quarter. Yes, it did. Alphabet, we have no idea. No idea. Okay. And, and when I say Alphabet, no idea, I mean, like, then they lose this case, of which I've done a substantial amount of work on with Apple. Go there. So now yes, I've got control of the board. I'm just going to go back to your favorite NVIDIA because the stock is up 2.5%. Oh, too. that's it. They do these daily options. You ever seen that? that yes. The kids do daily options? Yes. And then they do their lineup in DraftKings and they do their daily options. Is there anything different? Daily. Yes, there is. DraftKings is more rigorous. No, that is a, it's an important point in the gamification of the stock oh, market. Oh, no, younger people, when I speak, I happen to be at a fabulous wedding uh, this weekend. My friend, Robbie Bra Rob Bradle's son, and I always ask people, what's going on? And the younger people, David, they are doing zero options, and they're doing it on NVIDIA. And they're doing it on whatever is just the hot st stock of the day. Right. And instead of, I asked anyone, has anyone invested? No one invested. But it doesn't matter. 
Monica and Michael, fabulous wedding. But there, but there was absolutely no substance to anybody's uh, trading. Yeah. It might as well have been, been daily fantasy. We've been going that way for a long time. I mean, it's, remember, it's discouraging. You know, the average hold time, even for a mutual fund investor, yeah. continues to contract, I believe. But we should mention well. Qualcomm down six. That's because of stories that Apple's integrating more. Right. And uh, may not need Qualcomm. Using fewer chips. Apple's been trying to integrate for ages. That doesn't yep. really work. Broadcom should not be down unless you think that there is, uh, the, this is again, data center. If you think data center is bad, because he has uh, made several, including buying more of one of today's leaders, and that is NVIDIA. Probably the reason in and of itself, while tech is one of the only two sectors in the green today. Why'd you add to this? Do you remember, we did trim NVIDIA back at 1.30, and I jumped the gun last time I was there uh, on set with you, and uh, we had that, that post-Fed rally, and, and started buying back some NVIDIA 115 area, so when we saw that move last week, I, I really do think that there was some capitulation. I mean, we saw the unwinded tech. We've, we've Everybody's covered it over and over again. But I think that spike in volatility really lays the great groundwork to see uh, you know, a, a low that could really rally here in the coming weeks and into NVIDIA's earnings report. So I think the setup here is really well. I know Josh has talked about um, the gap going back to May in the 90s uh, for NVIDIA, and that pinged it last Monday. So after achieving that gap, looking at my high expectations for this earnings report and the good technical setup here, I had to buy some more NVIDIA and top off positions in portfolios when we were trading around 100 bucks to finish out the week. Brand, you got NVIDIA, obviously. I think our viewers know that by now very well. Um, but what about buying more here in what's been a reasonably unsettled stock? Yeah, well, I mean, as I said, I think last week, I had closed out all of my covered call positions in NVIDIA. I agree with Bill. I think it got washed out. Um, I have a a really nice position in here in NVIDIA, so I don't need to add here. But I really like the price action of NVIDIA going into earnings at the end of the month because there is a lot of concern. There's been some technical damage, and I feel pretty confident that Jensen's going to come out and deliver it because Mark Zuckerberg, Satya, Sundar, across the board have all told us they're buying Elon Musk all of their chips. And so I think it's going to be a great number. So I think that's a really good add at these levels because I think at the end of the month, we start seasonally long, positive um, quarter for the market. I like NVIDIA here at 109 going into earnings. Welcome back to The Exchange. NVIDIA shares are up nearly 5% today and more than 9% despite last week's sell-off. While the volatility left some investors wary of the big AI names, our next guest saw the dip as a buying opportunity, upping his stake big time. Let's bring in Fast Money Trader and Grasso Global CEO Steve Grasso. Give me the deets, Steve. It's good to see you. How you doing, Kelly? Yeah, this could have, I always love hindsight when it proves you're right. This could have, this was a binary instance though. This could have went very bad against me if the macro market sold off. It didn't. So I look great, um, you know, on, on a uh, on a micro basis after the fact. Uh, I own NVIDIA. I originally owned NVIDIA, I should say, in the 120s was my, was my average. And I expanded that position considerably so now my average is around 102 so that's how much i was buying on that dip once again it, it could have that dip could have gained more strength market could have sold off uh more precipitously it didn't so once i started to see the market uh, solidify i really uh leaned into that position for yeah. nvidia what's the exit strategy yeah, so so uh, normally, you know, when, when those of, those of the people that follow me on Twitter or watching on Fast Money, I usually trade around a core position, which means that I'll have my core positions and then I'll trade tails around it. This actual the tail actually became the core, so I think that the uh, the stock probably trades back up to the 120 range, and you know, shorter term, obviously 115. That was just a blink of an eye of where it was today. So I think it's. I think you're going to see higher prices. I think the market has to perform well. Market doesn't perform well. This is definitely a momentum stock, but I think you're going to see a 120 print sooner rather than later in the May. Yeah, because I wonder. You know, 
not that the bloom is coming off the rose, but that there's a sense when you see Apple intelligence coming out uh, without being trained on NVIDIA chip, I'm gonna be getting, you know, some of these other rollouts that don't necessarily require those big expensive workhorses, are they kind of telling people that there's a way to participate in the AI rush without it necessarily being that NVIDIA share price doubles and it becomes a $6 trillion company or whatever? You know, have we kind of dialed that back a little bit, I wonder? <laughs> Yeah, I think I think that's a valid uh, that's a valid premise. And, but when you think about it, they still own eighty five percent of of the market share in AI. So maybe the to the extent of the chip that's going to be used could change just depending on what sector of the economy that you're in. But ultimately, if you want premium, you're going to go with Nvidia. Everyone that we heard from in large cap tech is increasing their spend in chips. For a limited time only, the first 50 customers get a 50% discount off everything in our store. Don't miss out. This offer won't last long. Rush in now and save big. Hurry, be one of the first 50. Shop now. From the link below.